Today we continue our series of design patterns with the adapter pattern, also known as wrapper pattern. An adapter allows two incompatible interfaces to work together. This is the real-world definition for an adapter. Interfaces may be incompatible, but the inner functionality should suit the need. The adapter design pattern allows otherwise incompatible classes to work together by converting the interface of one class into an interface expected by the clients. The motivation behind the adapter design pattern. An adapter can be used when the wrapper must respect a particular interface and must support polymorphic behavior. Alternatively, a decorator makes it possible to add or alter behavior of an interface at runtime. A real-world example is the socket adapter that we take with us when we travel to countries or continents with different socket configuration. With this adapter, we make sure that no matter what configuration the socket has, we are able to use it. Structure and implementation of the adapter design pattern. We have target, which defines the domain-specific interface that client uses, the client, which contains the existing business logic and collaborates with object conforming to the target interface, adaptee defines an existing interface that needs adapting. An adapter adapts the interface of adaptee to the target interface. Applicability of the adapter design pattern. Use adapter pattern when you want to use an existing class and its interface does not match the one you need. You want to create a reusable class that cooperates with unrelated classes, that is, classes that don't necessarily have compatible interfaces. Pros and cons of the adapter design pattern. The pros, single responsibility principle, you can separate the interface or data conversion code from the primary business logic of the program. And second pro, open closed principle. You can introduce new types of adapters into the program without breaking the existing client code, as long as they work with the adapters through the client interface. And the cons, in this case it's only one, the overall complexity of the code increases because you need to introduce a set of new interfaces and classes. Sometimes it's simpler just to change the service class so that it matches the rest of your code. Let's do a final recap of the adapter design pattern, so things that we have to remember when we leave this slide. The adapter pattern is used when we want incompatible interfaces to work with each other. And if you want a real life example, think about the socket adapters. This is the easiest way to make the parallel between the design adapter pattern and the real world. And the second point that we need to remember is that we have to create the following components, the target, the client, the adaptee, and the adapter. Don't worry if everything we spoke about is not clear enough. It will become very clear once we start coding. The purpose of me presenting this succinct slide is that you will get an overview of what the pattern does and then we learn how to code in both Python and in Java. The idea is that the information that I want to present has to be concise so that you can understand the main points of the pattern. The theory is much more complex but we don't always need to know all the theory so that we are able to code and understand actually when to use these design patterns. So now let's move on to the coding portion of the video. Let's start with the Python implementation of the adapter design pattern. So we will implement the real life example, the one that I mentioned about the sockets and the adapters. So let's create, for example, a US plug connector interface. And here I'm just gonna define a method. I'll call it give electricity. And I will not implement it, of course. I'm just gonna say here pass. Then I'm gonna create the US plug connector class which will implement our US plug connector interface and I'm gonna now implement the give electricity method and I'm just gonna print a message here and I'm gonna say this is a US plug then I'm gonna also create a US electrical socket and here I'm just gonna define a method called plug in which will take self and a US plug and here I'm just gonna say US plug give electricity and basically that's it 
for the US part. Now let's create a UK plug connector interface. We'll define also a method here called provide electricity. And I'm just going to say pass because I will implement it in the implementation class. So I will have a electrical socket as well. UK electrical socket. And here again I'm going to implement a plugin method. Which will take self and a UK plug. And I'm going to print of course a message because I want to say this is a UK electrical socket and you'll see exactly why I will do that. UK electrical socket and I'm going to also say UK plug dot provide electricity. Now it's time to create the adapter because I want to create adapter for my UK plug connector. So I'm going to create an adapter that I will use with my US plug so that I can use the UK electrical socket. So let's say US to UK plug adapter, which will implement the UK plug connector interface. And here I'm going to define the constructor and I will get a property called US plug because what I have in, in this moment, I have a US plug and a UK electrical socket. So I want to make them work together. So I'm going to say self dot US plug equals with US plug. And I'm going to implement the method provide electricity, of course. And I'm going to say self dot US plug dot give electricity. Now let's see how this works. Let's create a main method here. And in this main method, I'm going to define a US plug because we said this is what we have. We have a US plug. And this will be a US plug connector. I also have a UK electrical socket, which of course is a UK electrical socket. What else do I have? I have a UK adapter with me so that I can use my US plug with the UK electrical socket. So I have a UK adapter, which is a US to UK plug adapter, which will adapt my US plug. And then I'm just going to say US UK, sorry, electrical socket plugin using my UK adapter. Now let's see how this looks like. I'm just going to call here the main method. Good, let's run this and see how it goes. So let's go here and I'm going to say Python 3, Python adapter part. And as you can see here is we have an electrical socket and a US plug that goes into the UK electrical socket using the US to UK adapter. But this is it. As you can see, it's quite simple to use. I hope this example that can be used in real life will make you understand better how exactly to implement the adapter pattern and more important even is when to implement the adapter pattern. Now let's continue with the Java implementation of the adapter pattern. Now for the Java implementation, we will do the exact same as for Python implementation. We'll create the interface US plug connector and here I'm just going to create one method which will be called give electricity and that's it. Now we will create the US plug connector implementation which will implement the US plug connector and for the give electricity method I'm just going to do system out print line and then here I'm going to say US plug connector. And I'm going to also create a US electrical socket, which will have a method called plugin. And we'll take a US plug connector. And here I'm just going to say US plug dot give electricity. Next, I'm going to create the UK plug connector interface, which will have also only one method, which will be called provide electricity. And also a UK electrical socket, which will be called public void plugin and we'll take in a UK plug connector and here I'm gonna just say system out print line and I'm gonna say this is a UK electrical socket 
and of course I'm gonna call the UK plug provide electricity and now what do I have I have a UK socket and a US plug so in order to make them work together I'm just gonna create a US to UK plug adapter which will implement what well the UK plug interface because this is what we need to use in order to be able to use the UK socket so I'm gonna say implement UK plug connector interface and here I'm just gonna declare my US plug connector that I have and also I'm gonna initialize it in the constructor so I'm gonna say public US to UK plug adapter it will take a US plug connector because this is what I have a US plug connector and I'm gonna say this US plug equals US plug. Now to override the provide electricity method I'm just gonna say US plug connector so in my case is the US plug give electricity that's it now let's create the client now for the client class which will basically test our code I'm gonna have a public starting with main so I'm gonna have a US plug connector which should be called US plug then I have what I also have a UK electrical socket and in order to use the, the UK socket with the US plug I need to have an adapter so UK plug connector which is actually my adapter is new US to UK plug adapter of the US plug so now what do I need to do well I need to plug in the US plug with the adapter in front of it into the electrical socket so I'm gonna say into the electrical socket plug in the UK adapter right because this is the interface between my US plug connector and my UK electrical socket and that's it let's run it and see what it looks like yeah and as you can see here it says this is a UK electrical socket and a US plug connector I really hope that what I explained was clear enough and if not please leave your suggestions in the comments below also if this helped you understand better the adapter pattern please give this video a like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm please subscribe and click the bell button to receive notifications as I release new content every week I didn't post in quite a while because as I said I'm working on a cool tutorial so wait for some really exciting videos in the weeks to come I will resume my weekly posts from now on so stay tuned thank you for watching and see you in the next one